Welcome guys and uh, how to set up a very ugly game pass shop that gives you weapons. Um, uh, it's very ugly but it's good for new beginners. Uh, so if you go to GUI in my, in my part, oh my, my thing I will put in the description. If you put it in start a GUI. The script is in service script storage. The replicate storage is in replicate. It's just replicate. I just showed it off but you, you guys see what I'm doing. And down here, I, I had my horse, my weapons, <laughs> and I kind of um, kind of removed them. But I'm gonna say one, and I'll show you why later. But the, I got, you just go to the toolbox in the classic sword, and I'm just gonna put that in. There we go. And what you wanna do is to go to, to go to the carbine. There's something in here that we actually need. Game pass ideal. This, this, this. That thing we need to copy that. Thanks. And now we can delete the carbine. It's important that this is in every weapon you put in here. You need this game pass ID thing. You need that in every weapon. So just remember that. If you put in four more weapons, put it in all the weapons. And let let's see how this works for now. All right. So you have the shop down in the right corner here, as you can see. And it's open up, and there's a classic sword because it's the, this is the only weapon we have there. The more weapon you fill in there, the more weapon will uh, show up um, in um, in here. So if you have six weapons, you're gonna have six weapons and stuff like that, and then you can just classic sword. Doesn't work to press it because we haven't made uh, the game pass on the home side. So pretty much what you wanna do is that you want to go to the home side let's see I didn't publish this game but I, I guess we can do that just to just to you know make a point clear here okay there's published it's called YouTube and oh, there we go and you can go to create you go to the create tab And uh, you go to the YouTube. Where is it? Come on, show yourself. I have so many clips. How are we ever going to find it? There. Oh, here it is. Oh my god, it's so much better. Anyway, when you're in here, you go to the store and you say add game pass. Yay! Add a game pass. How hard can it be to add a game pass? You just press that. No pass is found. Okay, you're gonna sword. Description sword. My English sword. And pre-wire, you must select a file. We need a picture. All right, we're just gonna take that. That's cool. Pre-wire. Verify upload. It should be. I don't know. Here it is. Uh, configure and sales. Yes. In one Robux. Save. And then you have the general, and you see this ID up here. This little number. Copy. Go in this game again that you're making. And remember now, remember what we did there, we put this game pass ID thing in there. Right click that and go to properties and the value down here will be the number. See? Done. I think that's how it's done at least. And now let's try it out. Shop. Classic sword. <gasps> You already own this item. Okay, so I already own the item, and as you can see, I spawn in with the sword. That wasn't too hard, was it? Alright, so you can do this with multiple items. Basically, what I've been figuring out is that you need to rejoin the game every time you buy a Game Pass, sadly. But it's very good for beginners, and if you're a good UI changer, you can just change this and just make it better. Um, and that's it. Good luck. Uh, report any problems in the description below.